Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be covering subtracting negative numbers. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen that we're going to solve. There are also two number lines that are going to help us visualize and see exactly what we're doing when we subtract negative numbers. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have two minus negative three. And subtraction tells us to go backwards on a number line, right? So for example, if we had 10 minus three, we know that equals seven, right? We start at 10 and we take away one, two, three, and we end at seven. Now, when we're working with negative numbers, they actually tell us the opposite. So if we do 10 mi or I'm sorry, two minus negative three, we start at two here, and we're going to take away negative three. And again, that negative tells us to do the opposite. So we're not going to go backwards on the number line, we're actually going to go forwards three. One, two, three. And we end at a positive five. Now a simpler way or easier way to think of these problems without writing it out on a number line, the number line initially helps us visualize and see what we're doing. But eventually you need to get to a point where you don't need the number line. And whenever we're subtracting negative numbers, all we need to do is add the opposite. So for number one, we keep two as is, we change this to addition, and we need to switch the sign of the second number, the opposite. So instead of negative three, we're going to have a positive three. And that gives us five, the same answer as when we wrote it out on a number line. So when you add the opposite, make sure you don't just change this to addition. That completely changes the problem. In order to switch it to addition, you have to have that the opposite of that second number in the problem. So let's go to number two. Let's add the opposite first. So we have negative four, and let's add the opposite of positive two. We have a positive two here, so the opposite would be a negative two. So negative four plus a negative two gives us a total of negative six. Let's write it out on the number line. So we start at negative four, and we're subtracting this positive two here, which means we go to the left on the number line. We're taking away two. So one, two, and we end at negative six. So our number line gave us the same answer. Number three, let's add the opposite here. So we have a negative nine, Plus, what's the opposite of negative three? Well, a positive three. And this is going to give us negative nine plus that three, a negative six. Let's uh, go over to this number line here. The bottom left will start at negative nine and we're subtracting a negative three. And remember, this negative three tells us to do the opposite because of this negative sign. So instead of going to the left when we subtract, we go to the right three. One, two, three, and we end at negative six. So the same as when we added the opposite. So number four, we have negative 25, change to addition, and change the negative eight to the opposite which would give us a positive eight, add the opposite. So negative 25 plus that positive eight gives us a negative 17. So there you have it, that's subtracting negative numbers. And just remember, add the opposite and it will make that problem easier to tackle. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.